2013, Amazon Web Services began its global certification program with the primary purpose of validating the technical skills and knowledge of IT professionals for building secure and reliable cloud-based applications using the AWS platform. The AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate exam was the first AWS certification that was released in that year. This is followed by two other role-based certification exams, SysOps Administrator and Developer Associate. Since then, AWS has continuously expanded the certification program, launching the professional and specialty level certifications that cover the various domains such as machine learning, data analytics, advanced networking, and many others. As AWS services continue to evolve, a new and updated version of the AWS certification exam is released on a regular basis. This is to reflect the recent service changes and to include the new knowledge areas. After almost five years since its initial release, an updated version of the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Certification was launched in February 2018 with an exam code of SAA-C01. And after two years, AWS released another version of this test with an exam code of SAA-C02 in March 2020. This is followed by yet another new exam version released in August 2022. The following version of this certification test has an exam code of SAA-C03 which contains the new services that were recently released by AWS. As you can notice, the last digit of the exam version code increments for every new version of the SAA exam. So, from SAA-C01, it becomes SAA-C02, SAA-C03, SAA-C04, and so on and so forth. Knowing the latest exam code is important for finding the most up-to-date reviewers for this AWS exam. The AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Exam is intended for IT professionals who perform a Solutions Architect or DevOps role and have substantial years of Amazon experience designing available, cost-efficient, fault-tolerant, and scalable distributed systems on the AWS platform. It is composed of scenario-based questions that can either be in multiple choice or multiple response formats. The first question type has one correct answer and three incorrect responses, while the latter has two or more correct responses out of five or more options. You can take the exam from a local testing center or online from the comfort of your home. The exam has 65 questions that you should complete within 2 hours and 10 minutes. The score range for this test is from 100 to 1000 with a minimum passing score of 720. AWS is using a scaled scoring model to create scores across multiple exam types that may have different difficulty levels. The complete score report will be sent to you by email after a few days. Individuals who unfortunately did not pass the AWS exam must wait for 14 days before they are allowed to retake the exam. There's no hard limit on the number of exam attempts, so you can try again and again until you pass the exam. Take note that on each attempt, the full registration price of the exam must be paid. Within 5 business days of completing your exam, your AWS certification account will have a record of your complete exam results. The score report contains a table of your performance for each exam domain, which indicates whether you met the competency level required for these domains or not. AWS is using a compensatory scoring model, which means that you do not necessarily need to pass each and every individual section. You will pass this exam as long as you get an overall score of 720 across 4 domains. Each section has a specific score weighting that translates to the number of questions. Hence, some sections have more questions than others. Your score performance table highlights your strengths and weaknesses that you need to improve on. The AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Exam has four different domains, each with corresponding weight and topic coverage. The exam domains are as follows. Domain 1 is Design Secure Architectures. Domain 2 is Design Resilient Architectures. Domain 3 is Design High Performing Architectures. And lastly, Domain 4 is Design Cost Optimized Architectures. There's no doubt that these domains are really for the Solutions Architect exam. As you can see, these four domains are about designing an architecture focused on security, resiliency, high performance, and cost optimization. The list of exam domains can be found on the official exam guide for the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate exam. Each exam domain is comprised of several task statements. A task statement is a subcategory of the exam domain that contains the required cloud concepts, knowledge, and skills for you to accomplish a particular task or activity in AWS. Let's look at each of these domains one by one. The first domain covers the big chunk of the exam at 30%, followed by the second domain, which covers 26%. The third is 24%, while the last one covers 20% of the exam. The Design Secure Architectures exam domain is focused on checking your knowledge in designing resilient architectures in AWS. 
it has the biggest domain in the exam with 30% coverage. Therefore, you must allocate significant time to study the various concepts covered in this domain. The series of scenarios that you'll encounter in this section checks your know-how in, designing secure access to AWS resources, designing secure workloads and applications, as well as determining appropriate data security controls. The second exam domain is all about designing resilient architectures in AWS. It is the second biggest domain in the exam with 26% coverage. You must also allocate a lot of time to understand the different concepts covered in this domain. The questions that you will encounter in this section will challenge your knowledge in designing scalable and loosely coupled architecture, plus designing highly available and or fault-tolerant architectures. The third domain is designing high-performing cloud architectures in AWS. This has an exam coverage of 24% and revolves around designing high-performing storage, computing, database, network, data ingestion, and transformation solutions. You should prepare for determining high-performing and or scalable storage solutions, designing high-performing and elastic compute solutions, determining high-performing database solutions, determining high-performing and or scalable network architectures, and finally, determining high-performing data ingestion and transformation solutions. The last exam domain revolves around designing cost-optimized architectures. It comprises 20% of the exam coverage, so you have to limit the time you spend reviewing the concepts under this domain. As you might have guessed, this domain is all about the cost of your cloud architecture and the different ways to reduce operational expenditures. This section tests your knowledge in designing cost-optimized storage solutions, designing cost-optimized compute solutions, designing cost-optimized database solutions, and lastly, designing cost-optimized network architectures. These are the four exam domains that you should be familiar with when you start your exam preparations. Again, the SAA exam is primarily focused on security, so you make sure that you focus on the design secure architectures domain and all the related knowledge areas in its task statements. I highly recommend that you read the official exam guide for the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate exam from cover to cover. Pay close attention to the topics included and don't forget to read the appendix section which contains a list of related AWS services that will appear in the exam.